Welcome to Sunday School. I'm Miss Megan and, oh no, we're missing somebody. Hey, Jacob, Jacob, where are you? It's Wait. time to record. We're so glad you joined us today. And man, Jacob, I'm glad you joined us today too. <laughs> All right, so, for the whole month of September, we're gonna learn about God's good creation. That's right. And we're also gonna work on a new Bible verse. So here it is. And it's also on the notes that, that are stapled to the outside of your bag that we dropped off at your house. If you turn on the back, you have the same picture we do and the words to the Bible verse in case you want to practice this month. All right, so, I think I will. This is our Bible verse for this month. Lord God, you created heaven and earth by your great power and outstretched arm. Nothing is too hard for you. Jeremiah chapter 32, verse, verse 17. 17. 17, you're right. So we're going to try that. We're going to say it one more time. I'm going to do some hand motions with it. Okay. Lord God, you created heaven and earth by your great power and your outstretched arm. Nothing is too hard for you. Jeremiah chapter 32, Two, verse, verse 17. 17. So we'll work on those hand motions. But <laughs> yeah, that I is had no idea what I was doing. I know, <laughs> I know. Well, we'll all work on it together, okay? okay. <laughs> Great job, guys. Great so, job. I, I hope you did better than I did. Before we get any further, let's stop and pray. All right, let's stop and pray. For the sun that shines each day so bright. We praise you, God. For the moon and stars that glow at night. We praise you, God. For seas that help the air we breathe. We praise you, God. For giant turtles and tiny bees. We praise you, God. Amen. We praise you, God. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Wonderful. Now, before we head to story time, let's have a snack. Pull out your bag for today. And we are going to have yes, animal, animal crackers. crackers. So I love animal crackers. They're yeah, so good. So, glad. <laughs> so while you guys start eating your snacks, let's head to story time. All right, roll it. There was only darkness. There were no trees. There were no giant turtles, no tiny bees. God said, let there be light. And there was light. There was evening and morning on the first day. God said, let there be sky. And there was sky. There was evening and morning on the second day. Then God said, let there be land and seeds under the sky. And let the earth put forth fruits and vegetables. And there was land and seas under the sky, and there were fruits and vegetables. There was evening and morning, the third day. Then God said, let the sky be filled with lights. The light of the sun, the light of the moon and the light of stars. And the sky was filled with lights, the light of the sun and of the moon and of the stars. There was evening and morning on the fourth day. Then God said, let there be fish in the water and let there be birds flying in the sky. And there were fish in the water, and there were birds flying in the sky. There was evening and morning on the fifth day. Then God said, let there be creatures of every kind, and let there be people to care for the earth. And there were creatures of every kind, and there were people to care for the earth. There was evening and morning on the sixth day. 
On the seventh day, God rested. God had blessed the earth with sea and sky and light, with plants and animals and people, and God saw that creation was very, very good. I wonder what it looked like when everything was new. I wonder. It was so peaceful. Oh, I wonder what the earth looked like before there were roads and buildings. I wonder what part of the creation story interests you the most. And I wonder what parts of creation you like best. And as always, we, we wonder, wonder what you wonder. Let's head to craft time. See ya! Today in our story, we told the story of creation. God created the world and everything. At the beginning of our story, we tell the color. And then we moved we on to shapes. That's right. So today, we are going to make a bookmark that tells our story of creation in colors and in shapes. And when you're done, you will have a bookmark that tells the whole story that we told today. And we're going to tell it in symbols so that we can remember the creation story just by looking at our colors and shapes. So what we're gonna do is Jacob's gonna tell our story again, and we are gonna color our bookmark. So grab your bookmark out of your bag and grab some of your crayons from home, and let's get started. All right. In the beginning, there is only darkness. God said, let there be light, and there was light. So I hear Jacob say that, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color a black stripe on the top of my bookmark, and that's gonna remind me that in the beginning there was only darkness. And then under that, I'm gonna color some nice happy yellow. And that's gonna remind me of when Jacob said, that God said, let there be light, and there was light. Okay. Then God said, let there be sky, and okay. there was sky. So I'm going to use my blue, and I'm going to color a nice blue stripe under my black and my yellow. And that's going to remind me that next God created sky. Then God said, let there be land and sea, and there was blended seed, just like that. I like it. So what I'm gonna do, and you could do this however you want, this is what it looks like so far for me. For land, I'm gonna do both green and brown. Because I kind of think of... Dirt and grass? I think of dirt and grass, I think of, yeah, land as being both green and brown. And then, when I'm done with my green and brown stripes, then I'll do a nice blue stripe for the ocean. Not just the ocean, I guess, for yeah. all of the water. Ponds, rivers, yes. whatnot, you name it. You name it. So this is what my bookmark looks like now. And this reminds me of our story so far, that in the beginning there was darkness, and then God said, let there be light, and there was light. God created sky and land and seas. So that's where we are so far. All right, Jacob, go ahead. And then God said, let the sky be filled with light, the light of the sun, the moon, and all the stars. I like it. So what I'm gonna and do- And the sky was filled with light. Yes. So you can do whatever color you want. You can do it however this makes sense to you. Jacob suggested for me, and I kind of like this, I'm gonna use orange and I'm gonna do it on my light, on my yellow section. And I'm just gonna draw sun and moon and stars. So that's what I did to remind me of that part of the story. But you can do whatever makes sense to you to remind you of the part of the story where God created lights of the sun and the moon and the stars. All right, go. And then God said, let there be fish in the water and birds in the sky. Right. And there were fish and birds, just like that. Yes, so I'm gonna put a fish down in my bottom blue, cause that was my water. And then I'm gonna draw a bird, maybe up in a couple of birds up in my top blue, cause that's my sky. All right, go. 
Then God said, let there be creatures of every kind, and let there be people to care for this creation. And there were creatures, animals, and people. So I'm going to draw an animal, and I'll draw a person, and I drew them on my land. But you can put them wherever you want. Then God rested. He had blessed the earth with sea and sky and light. He had blessed the earth with plants and animals. And most importantly for us, at least, people. <laughs> That's right. So this is our bookmark. And just using some colors and some shapes and symbols, we can use this to tell our whole creation story. Thank you so much, Jacob, for telling our story while of we course. colored. My pleasure. That was really awesome, guys. I really enjoyed that. Before we go, let's say our Bible verse one last time. Remember, you have the same picture and all of the words on the card that is attached to the outside of the bag that we left at your houses. So our Bible verse for the month is, Lord God, you created heaven and earth by your great power and outstretched arm. Nothing is too hard for you. Jeremiah chapter 32, 32 verse 17. 17. Excellent. Finally, I would like to pray for us before we go. Creator God, you separated the light from the darkness. You separated the sky from the sea. You made trees and plants. You gave us the sun, the moon, and the stars. You gave the fish a home in the sea and the birds a home in the sky. You gave the earth to humans so we could enjoy your creation. And then you rested, leaving the world in our care. Help us to care for all of your creation, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Bye, friends. We'll see you next week. We'll see you next week.